Versatile, tough, and always outspoken, Thurman Thomas is undoubtedly one of the greatest running backs to play the game. In a career spanning 13 seasons, this five-time Pro Bowler led the Buffalo Bills to four straight Super Bowls, was named the NFL's MVP in 91, and retired as the league's ninth-ranked rusher with 12,074 yards. But statistics only begin to tell the story of Thurman Thomas's NFL career, which began with the 1988 draft and a demoralizing snub by teams that were spooked by a knee injury he sustained in his senior year at Oklahoma State. Despite his status as the Big 8's rushing leader, at 5'9", 195 pounds, Thomas slid to the second round as team after team passed until the Buffalo Bills called. Our running backs coach, a great running back himself, Elijah Pitts, it kept drumming at us and drumming at us. Thurman Thomas is the guy we want. He convinced us. It was a gamble. You can get drafted in the first round, you can get drafted in the last round, but until you prove yourself on that football field, that's when you know that you've made it in the National Football League. I was very motivated to prove to everybody that didn't draft me that you made a big mistake. After an outstanding rookie season that led to a division title, it became abundantly clear Thomas's star was on the rise. His work ethic and unselfishness soon became his trademarks. There are so many things that people look at Thurman Thomas can point out, his running ability, how he goes about you know, making a cut into the hole or you know, really setting up a, a linebacker to make a miss or coming out of the back for the great pass routes that he runs. But, from my standpoint, one thing that separated Thurman Thomas from just being that all great all-purpose running back was his, uh, his, his attention to details. I wanted to be a player that was capable of doing everything that I wanted to do on the football field. Studying film, conditioning myself to where you know, I'm exhausted. I was kind of a guy who, even though Jim Kelly was a quarterback, I felt like I could have called a place. I mean, that's how prepared I was. He was never a look-at-me guy. If you relieved him and took him out for a few downs and send in Kenny Davis, you'd give Kenny a pat in the back and be ready to go back in. I didn't want a guy that can just hand off the ball and run straight forward north and south all the time. I wanted a guy that was a game breaker. Thurman Thomas had it all. With characteristic boldness, number 34 entered his second season determined to turn up the heat. and vocal with the press, his comments were sometimes controversial. We were at each other's heads a few times because we all wanted to win. It wasn't just me and Thurman, it was me, Thurman, Andre. We had a bunch of egos on the team. We were known as the bickering bills, and off of that they fed to show that they weren't, that they really weren't. They were just emotional, they were high-keyed, and it became so close-knit. That's when we started going to the championship game. That's when we started going to the Super Bowls. I mean, because we came together as a team instead of bickering back and forth at each other. Thomas played 194 games with the Bills and racked up staggering numbers along the way. But breaking the record of one of the NFL's most legendary players in history lingers prominently in his memory. I think the statistic that I'm most proud of is that I led the National Football League for four straight years in total yards from scrimmage. Anytime you break a record of Jim Brown's, you know that you've accomplished something. Thurman runs, breaks a tackle, goes in for the touchdown. Thurman Thomas has scored. But for this multifaceted powerhouse who enjoyed tremendous success, there was one elusive goal never conquered. People always say, well, the Bills are losers because they lost four Super Bowls in a row. But I think overall, you know, we accomplished a lot. To be the best team in the AFC for four straight years, go to four straight Super Bowls, that's never been accomplished. We turned it around. You know, we put Buffalo on the map. Two on his feet at the 20, gets down to the 15, the Tampa 5, and score! But after 12 seasons, this all-time rushing leader for the Bills was cut in a salary cap move in 99. Surprised and hurt, Thomas responded by signing with arch-rival Miami. But before he could complete a full season, a torn knee ligament sidelined him, this time for good. Not long after, he signed a symbolic one-day contract to retire with the team that recognized his prodigious talent from the start. Since then, the bond with his beloved Bills has only grown stronger, and charity events offer an opportunity to reconnect. We actually just talk about being old. Something like hey, that. He the oldest. Hey, easy. He the oldest. Easy. No, I'm not Dre. No, Dre only is? When's your birthday? My birthday was in January. You the oldest. I'm 43. You're my elder. That's 
how you're supposed to hit. Tim Kelly, Hall of Famer, 02. Just glad we made it to 02. <laughs> Last year, Thomas became eligible for the Hall of Fame, but the induction committee did not give him the nod, a fact that left fans and teammates stunned. Isn't that cool, though? HOF 07. It should have been, it should have been HOF 06 is what it should have said. Though Thomas's induction may be belated, the hallowed halls of Canton await him. But after years of devoting himself to the game, his focus is now turned squarely on his family. And not even this prestigious honor can eclipse the joy he feels as a dedicated family man. The relationship that I have with my in-laws and with my family is probably the reason why I've succeeded in football and pretty much succeeded in life. I think just just nurturing relationships and growing them and growing as a human being are all very important to him. He has a, a strong sense of responsibility. It's huge with Thurman and I think to know that we all have what we want. I mean, and you know, it's silly, but that's, that's just the way he is. He wants to make sure that his girls and his wife and his son are all taken care of. My legacy would be right now, if I pass away after this interview, would be, you know, wow. He, he took care of his family better than anybody I've ever seen take care of his family. I think the last couple of years have really just been special because I'm, I'm involved with my kids' lives. And uh, we've been a really tight-knit family. Hopefully, you know, I think that'll last for a longer time.